Nice. Right back where I like you. Can you make ten copies of this for me? No. Why not? What do you know? Uh, buying lottery tickets online. <laughs> uh, everyone wants to be rich, but nobody wants to work for it. Came in at 10.30 today, right? Okay, I'll just dismiss it. Where are you going? Uh, not on a three-month boat trip. What? That's home. The guy I hit. What? What? You gotta be kidding me. Poor Andy. First you got beat up by a gang, and now she no, kicks your ass? Kevin, what about the lady you hit with a pine cone? There, that chubby one. I just had a baby. Yesterday? Wow. Apologize. Sorry I kicked your ass in front of your thin girlfriend. How about we wait till next year after you have your kid? Michael, do you remember you specifically told me to only bring one sheet of paper? Mm. You said it only takes one sheet to make a difference. And I said, are you sure, Michael? And you said, Pam, Pam, Pam. And then you sneezed in my tea, and then you said, don't worry, it's just allergies. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't. OK, I'll go look for another one. Pam, mm -hmm. when will the new copier be ready? I'm working on it, Kev. You said it would be ready by today, and it is today. It'll be ready soon. Soon could mean anything. Soon could be three weeks. Is that what soon means to you? Sometimes. Then come back soon. I want an outsider. Perfect. There are several outside candidates that we think would be really- No, I mean an outsider. Like someone on the margins of society who doesn't see things the way we do, like a homeless person. A homeless person, really. A homeless person. No, you're right, Pam. Let's just leave them to the welfare system and let that handle it. No, I want you to say that you think the best person to be our new manager is a homeless person. Let me guess who you want, Pam. Rachel Ray? The ladies of The View? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, Finn. Ryan. Yeah. Something the matter? Smokey's dead. Smokey the bear? Smokey Robinson, Pam. He died like an hour ago. I guess I'm the first to know. Wow, that's terrible. I really liked him. Oh, you liked him? That's nice. Did you like when he changed the course of American music like two or three times? Did you like that Tracks of My Tears is maybe the last true love song ever written? I'm glad you like him, Jim. I am completely devastated right now. Well, I second that emotion. Huh? I know a few of his songs, but what were his big ones? Oh, God. Nellie, what wasn't his? I mean, um, Tracks of My Tears? Yeah. Um, God, so many, Nellie. No, 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 no. Tracks of My Tears and what else? What are some more? What's one more? It says here the Smokey Robinson dead thing is a hoax. It's on CNN as of two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, well, that's a relief. Wow, look at that. It says he's actually playing State College. It's only three hours away. Oh my God, Ryan, that's perfect. You have to go. Tickets are 250 bucks. $250 is nothing to the world's biggest Smokey Robinson fan. Hey Pam, I just want to let you know, I'm totally on your side with the whole microwave situation. Thank you. I was just back there to make some cup of soup. The thing is still a huge mess. I know, can you believe it? Yeah, it's crazy. But I guess the thing is at some point, notes or no notes, someone's gonna have to just get in there and clean it up. I guess that's why we have a temp, huh? Don't ever let this little bitch drive you around town. We got lost for half an hour. I don't have any DUIs, so I can drive myself, but thanks. Obviously, there's been some kind of a mistake, so why doesn't Jim just pick the next highest score on the list and we'll move on? Yeah, okay. okay. That's fair. Fine. Excellent idea, Pam. Thank you. That would be employee number three, which is... Son of a bitch! Pam Halpert. What? How is that possible? No offense, Pam, but how the hell is that possible? There must be some reasonable explanation for this. Oh, wait, come on. I, I didn't miss a day. I came in early, I stayed late, and I doubled my sales last month. Oh, really? From what, two to four? Yep. Moving is one of the most stressful things you can do in life. You'll probably just take it out on your kid. Jim will turn to the drink. The family will fall apart. And 25 years from now, Cece will become world famous for stripping. It's a sad story. I have another one. We move. 
The other tenants follow. The bank takes the building, takes your farm, takes your car, and beats the crap out of you. Penniless, you die. And my daughter, Cece, dances on your grave, fully clothed. Pam Halpert. Hey, it's Jim Halpert. I was wondering if you wanted to see a movie tonight, because I've read a lot about this really great documentary. Is it called Ghostbusters? It's called Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, it didn't look like that. He didn't have a buster sign around him. Why don't you draw him? Why don't we see this old man? Okay. Yeah, fine. I'll draw him. Okay. I'm afraid of no ghost. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Dwight, are you eating a stick? It's a root, idiot. Okay. One time, I walked in on him naked, and his thing is so small. Whoa. How small is it? If it were an iPod, it would be a shuffle. Oh. My mind is going a mile an hour. That fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, little tip, um, never shake the baby. Sorry, just to be clear, you're saying do not shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Um, a lot of times parents get frustrated because the baby's crying and they shake the baby and you gotta, um, you can't do that. Don't shake our baby. Yeah. Okay, I'd never heard that before. So oh thank God. you. Yeah, I'm glad you said something. <laughs> Me too. I saw you were getting along with Ryan again. He's so sweet. He pointed to my latte and he said, Kelly, that will be the color of our children. Oh God. Yeah, he's so great. Remember how it felt when he cheated on you, though? Which time? I wrote you the most amazing love poem, but I can't even read it. My heart couldn't handle it. Oh, no, 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 read it, please. I love amazing poetry. No, it would cause me too much pain. Read through the pain, be strong. This poem would crush you. FYI, tonight we will be hosting at Louis Volpe's. I, wow. I love their breadsticks. Oh, their breadsticks are like crack. I love when people say like crack, who've obviously never done crack. Well, the breadsticks are like what then? Ryan, what can I use? I don't know, something from your world. The breadsticks are like scrapbooking. You're the right, you're right. No, I'm, I'm a middle class fraud. Shh, okay, okay, okay. Everybody's right. They're like breadsticks on steroids. Right? Yeah, that's great. I'm sorry, you guys have probably noticed my stomach's a little more sensitive lately. So if you wouldn't mind wearing a little less perfume, and if your lunch is especially pungent, maybe have it in the break room. We would really appreciate it. Pam is constantly throwing up because of the pregnancy. If she eats something the fetus doesn't like, she is screwed. It's amazing, a three ounce fetus is calling the shots. It's so badass. Phyllis, um, if you could switch to a different soap just for a month or two, yours is kind of perfumey. Now this is getting ridiculous. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I guess I missed the meeting where we all voted for you to get pregnant. No. I reserve the right to peel my hard-boiled eggs at my desk. All morning, I look forward to my afternoon cigars, and I am not stopping for anybody. I don't think I'm asking for too much. I guess it's just the end of courtesy in the workplace. Watching people get sick always makes me sick. And well, frankly, so does talking about it. So, wow.